foreplay starts in the morning when you wake up, not when you get into the bedroom. Hi, my name is Carrie B, and I'm a sexual health and wellness advocate, and I have been for nine years. If you like sexual health and wellness information and you want more, go ahead and give my face a follow. If you do not like talking about schmexy time stuff, go ahead and keep scrolling because that's fine too. Now, what I mean by this and the reason why I'm talking about it, and yes, I am in my kid's carpool line, but I felt like I needed to talk about it because so many clients come to me talking about how their partner skips over foreplay. And I have to remind them that also foreplay doesn't start in the bedroom. It starts when you wake up. And what I mean by this is because women, our biggest schmex organ is our brain. We're, think of us like ovens. We're on the preheating setting and it takes us a long time to get where we need to be. There's something called love tunnel 10 v tenting that's a thing for it to be able to fit and for it to feel good for us for you to be able to put things where they need to go all right and whenever you skip all of this and we just shut down it's literally and you still try to plow right in like a going down a water slide with no water it, it's literally like our love tunnel our taco is slowly drying up like a cut onion on the countertop i'm not even kidding and so our libido tanks and then you wonder why we never want to be intimate anymore it's because you're skipping over all of the steps you're not preheating us if you have an eggplant you're more likely to be like a microwave you're like pretty ready to go you've got what's called spontaneous desire and most women there are exceptions to the rule we have what's usually called responsive desires what I mean by this is that when you wake up, you need to make sure that you're like, not make sure, but it, just woo us, treat us kindly. If you're thinking about us, shoot us a text message. If you walk past us, drag your fingers across our lower back because that's where we store all our attention. It feels really good. It's like for us, just that, that little simple thing. Let us know you're thinking of us. If you see something that needs to be done in the house, instead of being like, oh, she'll get to it eventually go ahead and take out the trash or throw the dishes in the dishwasher. You don't even have to scrub them first. And I know that a lot of people are like, oh, well, if she's a stay at home mom, then why isn't she doing all these things? It's hard. All of it's hard. Going to work is hard. Being a stay at home mom is hard. Being a stay at home dad's hard. Being a working parent in general is hard. All of the things are hard. Instead of us just like combating back and forth, oh, my job is harder than your job. How about we just actually love each other and have compassion for each other and know that our mental health might be ebb and flowing every now and then and so you might be able to take something off her plate trying to make sure I'm in drive and not neutral um, take something off her plate so that when you get to the bedroom she's not too tired she's not too touched out she's not got a million thousand one things on her brain so that she's more likely to want to get down to pound town Okay. that's my PSA for the day. If you like stuff like this, go ahead and click my face for a follow. If you didn't, that's cool too. I'm not everyone's cup of tea. You could be the juiciest peach in the world and someone doesn't like peaches, right? It's cool. Talk to you soon.